Mike Mulder, let's talk about your, your time with the Heat during the, the playoff run and, and what was it like being on the bench during that time and going through, man, a, a grinding atmosphere? Yeah, it was great. Um, you know, it was my first playoff experience. And uh, even though as a two-way I wasn't eligible to play, there was still a lot to learn. Um, being on the sideline for that, um, being involved with the team, uh, you know, there's a lot of good good experience and good lessons to learn through uh, throughout that whole thing. So I was blessed to, to have that opportunity. Tell me about the intensity of what that's like. It's really intense, man. Um, you know, every game is a battle. Um, it's a really long stretch and you got to win a lot of games. So um, the intensity is high and everybody's super locked in at the end of the year like that. So, uh, you know, that was that was a great experience uh, for all of us. What about the, the filming and the, the scouting reports and that overload of information? Yeah, I think attention to detail uh, is what separates teams at the end of the year. Um, obviously, you've played a lot of these teams multiple times, but um, who can execute down the stretch, who can execute their game plan the best, um, you know, who's watched the most film, you can really tell um, over the course of those games. So um, it, was, it was a lot, um, and it was a long grind, and I think we all enjoyed it being locked in like that. Yeah, and just think, you know, one play away from being in the NBA Finals, and who knows? 100%. Um, we were so close, um, and I know that that's something that they're going to carry into the year, um, me as well. So um, just being able to, to be that close, uh, to go to the finals, um, that's something that we all wanted, and, you know, it puts it in our mind for this year to continue to work towards that, uh, that milestone, that goal. Do you mind talking about if it's bittersweet here to be in Sioux Falls? Because uh, I'll put in the perspective of, you know, you've you've been to the NBA twice through this program, but but also you're not there currently. Right. Um, you know, bittersweet probably not the word I would use. Um, you know, I'm excited for the season. Um, like you said, like I haven't left here without a positive experience uh, and something good happening for me. And I know that that that's only going to happen throughout the team successes. So, you know, as an older guy, a veteran player here, um, it's, it's my job to, you know, help these guys along, especially the younger guys um, with my leadership and my knowledge. Um, and I think that in doing that, a lot of us will achieve our individual goals. So um, obviously, I think we're going to come into the season strong and we have a great attitude about it, um, you know, all the way down through the whole lineup, through the locker room. Um, you know, the energy is great and we're all really excited for what's to come. So not having a preseason game, is that going to play a factor in, in the, when you throw it up on uh, on Saturday night? You know, I think we're all just really excited to play against somebody else. Um, you know, we've, we've played against each other uh, since we've all been in town, um, and now we're excited to, to take that to the next level against a different opponent and, uh, you know, have us all on the same side. So um, we're excited to, to see how the matchups look, um, try out different lineups, uh, and really learn to execute together. And uh, we're like I said, we're excited to play against somebody else. All right, thanks, Michael. No problem. Great to see you, boss.